Welcome to the Bender Bunker, your online resource for B-Bender Country guitar since 2017, and a lesson recalling six-pack of licks. Because who doesn't love a good six-pack, whether it's ice-cold beer or maybe a six-pack of washboard abs? Well, you can't see them, the Telecaster's in the way, but you get the idea. And indeed, I am going to endeavor to walk you through six different B-Bender licks here in this lesson in a reasonable amount of time. Normally, what I just opened up with would be a whole lesson, but, uh, you know, let's try and get six of them. Now, we're going to have to employ a bit of fretboard wizardry, if you will, and to get through six in a reasonable amount of time. And the way I'm going to do that is we're going to start each of the six licks the same way. And so what I showed you was the lick we'll be using for the key of E. That's what I just opened up with. The first half of that lick is what we're going to call our bass lick. All right, it's this. <laughs> Okay, that counts as a lick. That's a fun one right there. Now we're going to count that as one. I'm going to do that opening lick in five different keys. And when I get to the end of it, I'm going to go out of that lick like I did in the intro a whole different way. I'm going to give you five different looks, five different vibes in five different keys so it doesn't all sound the same, right? So that's how we're going to try and get through a six pack of licks in a hurry. And so uh, here's how I would recommend you consider navigating this lesson to get the most out of it. Utilize the chapter headings at the bottom of the screen, okay? Right now, the chapter tab we're on is called Intro Talk, as you might well imagine. The next tab over will be called Bass, and that's the bass lick. That's the one I just showed you, what we're going to be starting them all with. Let's get through that in a hurry. That won't take any time at all to show it to you. And then go on to the next five tabs. That's going to be the keys that we're in, D through, uh, we're going to go D, E, G, A, and B. And you'll see those keys there. So maybe once you learn the bass lick, then start with D. Listen to what I'm doing in D. See if that catches your ear. The next one, of course, will be E. Uh, that's what I opened up with. So if you want the intro lick, it's E, etc. Find the one that catches your ear. Start with that and then circle back to the others and collect one, collect two. Drink them all. Drink all six of the licks if you want. I encourage you to do that. Now, I know what you're thinking. I thought it too. You're thinking, hey, Bender Bunker, this might be a too much value. Given six licks for the for the instead of one, that you, if this business model, you're going to go out of business. And I say, you know what? If uh, giving too much value to you, the home bender, is wrong, then I, I just don't want to be right. But I also will say this: if you'd like to support the channel and you're looking forward to learning any of these licks, one through six of them, no matter how many strike your fancy, give us a quick thumbs up while you're thinking about it, and give us a little support there with the YouTube algorithm. Let that algorithm know you're enjoying the hot bender action, and you would indeed like to see more in your YouTube feed nestled in between those dog and cat videos, right? And then also you're thinking, man, I, I want that intro lick. I like some of the others. I should buy this guy a beer, but I don't know him. Well, we call that like so much in life, a virtual beer. We do that virtually. You send it over virtually, I drink it for real. And you do that by sending over a virtual beer donation amount of your choice safely and securely through the Bender Bunkers PayPal account. And we've got a link for that in the details section below, along with a lot of other good stuff, including what equipment we use is listed there. And then finally, if you are new to the channel, well, welcome. This is what we do and have been doing for almost six years, Hot Bender Action. And uh, we'd love to have you as a subscriber in the Bender Bunker family. And you can do that by hitting that subscription button in the bottom corner with that big arrow pointed out right now. That way you won't miss anything. All right, well, we've got a lot to cover today. I'm excited and we're just going to take it one can at a time on the six pack of licks. So grab that bender and let's get going here at the Bender Bunker with a six pack of licks. All right, the bass lick, this is going to unlock all the other five licks, so let's knock it out real quick. Sounds like this. I'm doing it in E because it looks good on the camera, but we'll be doing it in all the five keys. Uh, since we need, think of it like as the E seventh position, right? But we're going to leave the high E open. And so then I'm just doing my index finger on the B string third and my middle finger next to it on the third string fourth. And it's a nine pick event. I'm about to show you the first nine notes of this, not counting anything we do with the bender. Mm -hmm. And the first four of those nine are going to be the third string fourth and the B string third alternating, starting with the B string fourth. We're just gonna go back and forth for four notes. On the fourth note, we will end on the B string third and take the bender up. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Bender's up now, right? And then the fifth note will be the high E open. Okay, so that's the first five of the nine I'm about to show you. Now, when I hit that fifth note, the high E open, I'm letting the bender back down real quick. I'm unengaging it. Because I'm moving right up, as you just saw, to the second position. And so we've got... 
what I'm doing there is when I hit that high E open, let the bender down, I'm sliding up to second position. Second position is third string seventh with my ring finger and the B string fifth with my index finger. I'm starting on the third string seventh, picking that for a note. Then I'm hitting the B string fifth, taking the bender. Bender's engaged now. I'm hitting the high E open and coming right back to the third string seventh that I've still got hit with my ring finger. That's our second position. And that's the nine notes we're starting with. So it's High E open, five, fingers coming down, second position, six, seven, high E open, eight, and then ninth of that note being third string seventh. And notice the bender's still engaged, right? What I'm doing now then is I'm just gonna sneak up here and let my index finger cover the top two on the seventh. That allows my ring finger to fall naturally on the third string ninth. We're making the bender box for E in this example. And then I, I've still got the, the bender engaged, so I'm gonna start on the high E, hit the B string, let the bender down, and then go ahead and hit that third string ninth. Bender's unengaged, but I'm gonna engage again by either hitting the B string in isolation, still covered there on the seventh, or you can hit the top two, that sounds nice as well, take the bender back up and hold it. So again, coming into it engaged, starting on the high E, bender's down, third string ninth and then either individual note or the two together to take the bender back up and hold it. And that is the bass lick. I'll show you a quick hand cam of what the, hand, the pick hand's doing. All right, it's time for the D lick, the first of our five keys. Now, of course, I'm gonna start as I will with all of these key licks with our bass lick. And if you skip that, don't. Hit that chapter heading that says bass below and learn it because I'm not gonna show it to you again in detail. I've already showed it to you on that tab. Here is what the D lick, starting with the bass lick, is gonna sound like. Here we go. Okay, so we're starting with the bass lick. Now I showed it to you on the bass lick tab in E, right? Just take it down two, now you're in D. And we're starting with the bass lick. And as the bass lick always does, it starts with, it ends with the bender fully engaged, right? Same as we learned it. So the bender's engaged. It's just down there on the top two on the fifth because we're in D. I'm gonna hop here with my little finger, cover the top two on the 10th. And I'm gonna go high E into the B string and let the bender down abruptly as I do that. So top two on the 10th, bender comes down when I get to the B string, bender's unengaged now. Back down to the top two on the fifth with my index, but pre-engaging before I do anything. And then the same thing, high E into the B string on the fifth, letting the bender down. And then going straight into the third string seventh covered by my ring finger. And then I'm gonna go ahead and down, bender's unengaged, I'm gonna down pick the top two still covered on the fifth there with my index finger, and then take the bender up, down, and up again. So the lick. So all together. And again, don't forget, you can move these around. Uh, you know, started there in D, take it up two and do it in E. Don't forget, you can transpose them. All right, here's the hand cam on D. Okay, this is the six pack lick for E, and this is indeed the intro lick that starts this whole video. Sounds like this. All right, so the bass lick is always coming out of itself with the bender and fully engaged. So the bender's engaged, it's always engaged coming out of that bass lick. And so what we're doing here in E is we're gonna go back and make the E seventh bender shape. So think of a D seventh moved up to, so it's high E fourth, B string third, third string fourth. Working for E, because we've got our bender fully engaged. 
and I'm gonna do this. I'm starting on the high E fourth for a note, I'm going straight to the B string third for a note. Going back to the high E, but open this time, lifting my finger. Coming right back to the B string third to let the bender down. Going straight into the third string fourth. Now the bender's unengaged, and we fully utilize that three string seventh shape for E. And they're all kind of ringing together as they're supposed to. Now the bender's unengaged. We're now going to kind of lift our fingers off. I'm going to hit the B string open, take the bender up, and then hit the high E next to it when I get to the top. Okay, so it's just the top two strings open, starting with the B string. Bender's engaged now. And then I'm going to take my index finger and put it on the third string first. And then I'm going to up pick the open B string next to it and the third string first together to let the bender down. All right, so bender's engaged. Taking that seventh shape for E, starting on the high E fourth. E string open, bender up, high E, and then third string first, and then the open B next to it. It's all together. There you go, that's the intro lick and the lick for the six pack and E. Here's the hand cam. All right, let's grab another can of Tasty Bender Licks, this time in the key of G, of course, starting with the bass lick, and here's where we take it from there. good utilitarian lick we can use in all kinds of keys so as always we're coming out of that bass lick with the bender fully engaged fully engaged index finger covering the top two on the 10th now I'm gonna still use that index finger to cover the top two on the 10th but I'm gonna quickly let the bender down and I'm just gonna let the slide a fret or two down below because what I want to do is pick that B string and slide it right back to where it was on the 10th while taking the bender up because I want to get that sliding and bender sound together and then when I get there I'm going to take the bender all the way up and then hit the high E covered next to it as well and then come right back and hit the B string 10th again with the bender engaged so it's three notes with that sliding bending involved and then the bender is fully engaged now I'm going to walk that down, top two strings on the 10th, I just did that, now I'm going down to the 9th, hitting them together, two together and the 8th together, Now I'm switching the pattern a little bit, it's going to be 2nd and 3rd string, so I've got B string 8th, and then I've got my index finger on the 3rd string 7th, and then I'm going to double pick those to let the bender down. So again, here's the lick. All together. All right, let's go to the hand cam. This time it really is going to be the hand. I'm going to be using my thumb and index finger not a pick this time. Okay, let's open up a can of Tasty Bender Licks in the key of A. Now, if you count the uh, bass lick and you've been going in order, this is your fifth can of twang, and you may be over the legal limit. I hope you brought a designated driver to get you on home. And we're also going to be way up on the neck on this one in A. At one point, I'm going to be using the 17th fret, and so we're going to be really stretching out on this one. I'm going to pull back so you can see what I'm doing. Now, we're, of course, we're starting with our bass lick, and we're taking it from there, and here's what it sounds like. <laughs> One more time. All right, let's knock that one out for A. Now we're doing the seventh position for A to get our bass lick going, right? So that means we're gonna be on the B string eighth and our G string ninth to start our bass lick. So let's do the bass lick together, shall we? As always, the bass lick leaves us with the bender fully engaged. This time, our index finger is covering the top two on the 12th. Let's anchor it there for a little bit. We're going to do this 
hectic four note sequence. This is what I was talking about with the 17th fret. Uh, we're gonna use our little finger to do one note. The four notes sound like this. That's four notes with the bender coming down on the fourth note. So bender's fully engaged. We're anchoring our index finger top to 12th. Little finger for one quick note on the high E 17th. Right back to the B string 12th. High E 12th next to it. And then right back to the B string 12th to let the bender down. And that's your four notes. Bender's unengaged now. We go straight in to the third string 14th with our ring finger. And then we do a high E 12th, still covered by our index. And then we hit the top two on the 12th and take the bender back up. So the four note pattern, third string 14th, high E 12th, and then top two on the 12th with the bender back up. of a stretch mentally I don't start thinking about doing that kind of stretch with my little finger until I get to maybe the G like what we were doing down here on the 10th I could probably do it on the 10th yeah that's it in G all right let's go to hand cam it's a little bit hectic and yes again on this one to get that speed on the four note pattern I'm gonna have to use my thumb and index finger so here we go with hand cam All right, our sixth and final can of B Bender toying here on the six pack lesson at the Bender Bunker. Let's pull that tab back and get to it. We're in the key of B's and Bravo. And if you're willing into can number six after the other five, like I just did, hey, I salute you. I also recommend you take some aspirin before bed and have some water on your bedside table. There's a lot of B Bender toying to consume for one sitting. I, good for you. All right, as you've noticed, our base starting lick that starts all these cans of twang is progressively working its way up the neck as we change keys. That's just math. And so B is all the way up here. So that's where we're starting our base lick. And then I'll go ahead and do that into our sixth and final lick in the key of B. Here we go. Not quite as hectic as can number five, but in my opinion, just as tasty. Here we go. Let's get that bass lick starting point for B. We're gonna be B string 10th and G string 11th. That's how that's gonna start. So we'll do our bass lick. I don't need to show you that again. This is the sixth time we've done it. Okay, we're covering the top two with our index finger on the 14th. Bender's fully engaged as it always is when we come out of the bass lick. And then we're gonna do this sequence next. So there we are, top two on the 14th, bender engaged. I'm going to up pick those two together. On the second one, I'm bringing the bender down abruptly. And I'm doing a quick ghost note if you listen uh, after the end of that second one as well. Right? Now the bender's unengaged, I'm going to position two, but I'm pre-engaging the bender before I do anything there. So I'm going high E 11 with my ring finger and my index finger is going to B string 10th. That's really the top two strings of that B seventh shape for benders. And so then I'm gonna start with the high E, go to the B string to let the bender down abruptly and do another ghost note at the end of that. Bender's down now. Then I'm going to that third of that final section there, that third position. Again, pre-engaging before I get there, index finger covering the top two on the ninth, starting on the high E right there on the ninth, hitting the B string to let the bender down abruptly, not doing a ghost note after this one. So again, the three are 14th, 11, 10, top two ninth. And then we're doing the ending this way on the fourth and second string. And what that is is fourth string, 16th fret, and that is your second string, your B string on the 14th fret. So when I get down here and let the bender down on the top two on the ninth, bender's unengaged. Then I'm picking the fourth string and letting my middle finger slide up to the target of the fourth string, 16th fret. Like that. 
let that ring and then that allows my index finger to fall naturally on the B string 14th. Pick that, take the bender up and let them ring together. All right, so that sequence again. together one last time. Here we go with the uh, bass lick to start us off, of course. All right, that's going to be a combination of uh, probably picking hand on the hand cam, but let's get to that right now. Right there you have it a full six pack of beep bender twang for your enjoyment grab the ones you like make them your own put the pieces together most of these licks will be easy to transpose to other keys and just grab little parts make one long lick out of them i just throw it all out there you take what you like make it your own that's really always been the point of this channel i'll see you again real soon but until then it is never too late to go on a bender i certainly hope you do and a uh, big text and i will see you again real soon until then keep it bent